Lindsay Northern. And I'm Sean McCourt. In this edition of Behind the Emerald Curtain, we'll take a leap into the choreography of Wicked. Meet the team who dreamed up the unique dance vocabulary of Oz. The thing with the show that's really interesting for me was finding different vocabulary and stylistic ways of moving the characters. all has to be inspired and informed by the music and by the story. That's how Wayne works, definitely. I think each choreographer is different, however they approach choreographing a musical. For me, I need to have a reason to dance. So I go from that avenue. I go from the storytelling kind of physical part of it as opposed to just doing dance steps. You kind of have to start there before you can even start focusing on vocabulary or any sort of style or feel or aesthetic that you want to kind of bring to the table. And then we throw ourselves around the room for several weeks <laughs> until we, we feel okay about where, you know, about a, a skeleton. And then it always develops and changes once you get the bodies. More of the show is musically staged than is choreographed necessarily. Musical staging is all of the movement in the show. From the downbeat of the music, whatever they're doing as characters, that's all choreographed in a musically staged way. It's not a number where they're doing a kick line, but it's all choreographed. Jumping and moving around that seems really natural and they're really excited and having a great old time, that's all musical staging. Woes are fleeting, woes are glancing when you're dancing. I've come up with a lot of pre-production work and steps and vocabulary, and then a lot of the stuff that's on that stage is really developed by the individual dancer or personality. I'll give you an example. So, Nikki Dick, I knew that there was a spell. I wanted it to be completely crazy and sporadic. The analogies that we give them, your foot is nailed to the ground and, and you can't get it off, and now you're getting electric shocks running through your body. It was something that was kind of taking them off center, as opposed to them going and making a choreography. What's happening? I don't know, I got mad and... All right, just don't move. And don't get mad at me. Well, you coming? I feel like a lot of my job is not only maintaining the integrity of the choreography and the musical staging and the movement, but kind of keeping them inspired and honest and fresh as much as possible. It's not about being clean, like I said, it's just about being together in, in a moment, whether it's a physical thing or a focus thing or whatever. It's those pointed things that when you guys click into that together, then it's like, forget it. Then it, then it really elevates the story that much more. I always have uh, bi-weekly note sessions scheduled with the ensemble where we check in with them. If I'm traveling to another company, uh, one of the tours, the dance captain sometimes will still give those sessions. My name is Jonathan Warren and um, <clears throat> I'm the dance captain in the Broadway company of Wicked. I'm the guy who, when a new cast member comes in, I'm the guy that they're working with. So it's me and that person inside a studio for two weeks usually. I'm giving them all their choreography and I'm trying to like help them find what works best for them. Each actor is, is really important in creating this world. So for me, it's really about finding that individuality in each person, nurturing that, and encouraging them to bring that onto the stage that first night out and throughout their time there. I feel Dancers have to be brilliant actors. And if they know what the situation is, and they know what's expected of them, and they know what's going on, then their bodies will take over. And they have to tell the story. Sharing one wonder.